Hey guys and welcome to part two of this huge mansion. Yeah, so this is part two, furnishing only. So if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend it. Uh, the link for it will be down in the description box. And also there should be a I in the top right hand corner. So go click on that. I'll be waiting for you on your return. So secondly apologies because this furnishing video has taken hmm let's think about it two months yes two months to appear on my channel but i promise i would never let you go through the wilderness for that long again um yeah i'm back videos are going to be consistent again we're gonna get this going um <sighs> Just, I have no idea how I used to do so many videos. I took a break and literally I just, that I'm a hamster that just fell off of the wheel and I couldn't get back on. But we are now back on it again. Um, so hopefully this is the first of kind of, we'll call, say that there's gonna be like two and a half builds this week, we'll call it. Uh, basically the plan is to put another full speed build up um, on Friday and also to put on Sunday to put like um, an overview of one of the builds that I did in a live stream. So for all those live stream builds, I am going to be doing fly throughs, like overviews, just with the link to the Tumblr post so you can download them. And so that everyone else that wasn't a live stream, you guys, more of you watch my speed builds than you do go to my live streams so just so you know what's going on just in case you couldn't um watch the live stream and the one i'm meant to be putting up is from quite a while ago and i still haven't uploaded it so apologies for that one as well but anyway i kept in in this video if you just saw through my rambling i kept in all of the floor plan work because normally i actually have to cut that out of my builds but i decided let's just show you the un indecisive or <laughs> the thought process that I go through when I create a floor plan. I'm always just making sure that the floor plan makes sense and your sims can travel from room to room and that you don't necessarily have to travel through another room to get to somewhere else. There's There should be like a hallway, a corridor kind of leading through. Um, so yeah, that's what we were going with and it came to this so it's gonna be a bit of a long one um i think this video is 34 minutes long so i suggest maybe like popcorn yeah if i was watching this i'd be eating popcorn i suggest sweet and salty oh, i don't know how i've lived my life 31 years i went without sweet and salty popcorn it's like a revelation as a kid i just had butter kiss toffee popcorn because I didn't really like the salt stuff and I don't think they sold sweet popcorn in packets I feel like they only did the toffee and the salt and they didn't do the sweet you could get sweet at the cinema but for some reason you can buy it in a packet maybe that's just the way no maybe I'm completely wrong no idea but now they have this whole thing about like healthy snacks being popcorn so I buy what is it the skinny popcorn it's made with sweetener, basically, instead of sugar. There's so nothing light about it. If you eat a whole bag, you're still going to be a fatty. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it tastes so good. It's like you get a bit of sweet and then you get the salty and it just oh, enhances the flavour. Oh, I can't do this whole speed build about popcorn. Oh, I could taste it now. I finished, I had two packets over the weekend. I'm so bad. I'm meant to be on a diet. I need to be inspired. Um, I think I'm going to get TJ, that's Gavin Sims. We're going to do a cross-Atlantic um, buddy system and we're going to kick each other up the butt to get healthy. I said I've got three weddings to go to next year and I was like, i got to be snatched. 
that's what I'm going to be. And yeah, we're not going to be snatched if we keep on going the way we are going. So uh, yeah, that is the aim. It's <sighs> next year. I need that summer body. Summer bodies are made in winter and we are really close to winter. Let me just tell you, it's freezing cold here today. Um, to go and feed the bunnies, literally, I look like a crazy woman. I was dressed in joggers and a hoodie, plus my dressing gown, which is like two sizes too big for me. So it wraps around me like twice um, with my hood up. So I went outside looking like Red Riding Hood. Yep, that was the look we were going for to go and feed the rabbits. If the neighbours could see me, they had a good laugh because uh, I look pretty hilarious going out there in a big fluffy red dressing gown but I was fully dressed underneath it's just I don't want to put a coat on just dressing gown I work from home so coats aren't my thing you know I work I seriously sit down and work all day with my dressing gown on but fully dressed underneath as well it's just I don't want to turn the heating on because I'm cheap but I digress anyway so um what else was I, I was I gonna say? Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, so today, the whole embargo thingy, majiggy lifted on the pets. Not pets, not pets. I really wanna call it pets though. Cats and dogs, expansion pack, all the lucky, lucky people that got to go to Red Shores, Red, no, Redwood Shores, that's the one, in San Francisco. Redwood Shores, Sham mm. is it just Redwood Shores? It's near San Francisco, I don't know. Anyway, all those people that got to go to EA got all their footage and the embargo was lifted today so they got to show all of their gameplay stuff and all of um, like the build by stuff. I think they still aren't allowed to show uh, any footage to do with vets because apparently at the time they went basically the vets wasn't finished the whole system so they couldn't they weren't allowed to capture footage for that uh but we saw that all in the live stream how many days ago was it it was on thursday and today is monday for you it's tuesday this is going up tomorrow but yeah um it's yeah so the embargo lifted today and one of the biggest things that came out today is the fact that we get to size down objects no more make it ahead to get it smaller we now with the next patch that should be coming like next week i think we can sell, size down objects and i think i'm more excited about the possibilities of sizing down objects than i am about the new roofs which is it is quite a statement because you know the roofs, so they look good from the outside and maybe like they sell my video to you because you're like, ooh, nice roof. No, no one ever says that on a video. But, um, you know, when you're in gameplay and you're actually using the house, you don't really see the roof. But you see all the objects inside and it's going to be so great to be able to size down things. Like I saw um, Dutch Sims 4 Master, he did a spill... Sp sp can't speak speed build in when he was there at EA and he sized down the city living TV that's my favorite TV in the whole game but the thing is ginormous and it's really impossible to try and use it in every build I tried to, I think I tried to use it in this build and it was too big or mind you I did increase the size of the chimney breast I don't know if I changed swapped it back out again but yeah it's near impossible to fit into most builds definitely not in small builds and it's a beautiful tv but now we will be able to we can just downsize it and also those ginormous huge rugs that take up the size of i don't know what country you know those big ones that are super super abstract stylish look great wish you could use them never have a house big enough to use it yep those rugs now are now going to be useful because we can size them down. <gasps> Our prayers have been answered. Oh, the possibilities. You could like, hmm, I'm thinking what, all the weird things you can make with sizing down objects. Could you make like a mini dollhouse by like sizing down kitchen cabinets and putting it 
Can you make a mini house? Like a doll's house? Kind of decorative, I don't know. Oh, the possibilities. But anyway, uh, we're moving on to the kitchen. I already gone through the hallway. Yep, I kept that bit in. And onto the kitchen. I wanted to make sure that this build was really light and bright. Normally in a mansion build, you always kind of think they're really dark. They just have like dark woods and things like that. So in this one, I want to keep it really light and bright. Um, I think Chrissy, thank you. You suggested for it to be a kind of light color scheme on the inside and I completely agreed and also it really sent me a link I think it was to was it Hamptons built I don't know but it had red tan and white color scheme so that is what we went with throughout the whole thing that's why there's lots of blue in it also the tan is kind of picked up on the uh, tabletop and on all the woods that we've used um, so yeah, that's why it's very blue. We kept the whole colour scheme. Really, this could kind of be a colour me. In theory. Could be. But we haven't. Speaking of colour me, I really, really, really need to do one. I am missing that series so bad. Um, I really do miss doing that. Maybe I'll do that on a live stream or something like that. I was hoping to do a test live stream tomorrow. Well, in two days time for me, but for you tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But uh, just now I got an email asking for a cake <laughs> for Saturday. Well, actually not a cake, two cakes for Saturday morning. Um, and you know what I say whenever I get a cake order, nothing else happens. So yeah, this, the whole Twitch thing may be delayed slightly. I'm not too sure. I also said, I think in my last build, that I was not going to take on another cake order for the rest of the year. <laughs> well, that decision lasted for less than a week, didn't it? But I can't say no. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for a sob story. Um, so yeah, basically it's a whole last minute order. They're like, oh, it's really last minute. I'm really sorry, but can you? I can't say no. Maybe they'll just say no to me. Maybe if I just price it really, really high, they'll be like, nope, don't want it. And I'm not too sure. I'm not going to open up my laptop. I was just about to look and see if they've replied to my email. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to carry on looking at this. Um, Yeah, so the pancakes move into this, as they do with every build. And they have a fab time. No nudie Eliza walking around. We didn't have time for that. I've been putting the fly off. Fly, fly off no not fly off see this is what happens when you think try and think ahead the i've been putting the fly through off <laughs> for a very long time so you didn't have the usual antics i was just like come on get it together get the job done so that's what i did uh i think this build has probably been finished for over a month maybe sitting there yeah S sorry <laughs> promise never to do it again promise that all the future builds are going to be amazing cats and dogs i cannot wait for cats and dogs to come out there are so many builds planned let me just tell you so many builds planned for when cats and dogs come out uh guaranteed I'm going to have to do a Peacemaker dedicated Hamptons build because he has the Hamptons getaway pack and the Hamptons hideaway pack and also he did a sneak peek on Tumblr and he is doing another Hamptons like add-on pack thing so yes uh cannot wait for that to be released but he's not going to release it until Cats and Dogs has come out and he knows what um, amendments he's going to need to make to them because unfortunately with this new patch mm, he swings and roundabouts because we are now adding in a whole other it's not a life what is it whole other living thing I don't know life state is that what you call them pets another life state I don't know uh, because we're adding them in everything they interact with it's gonna basically break so all of the sofa all the cc sofas are probably gonna break because they 
will be updated and they'll now have like be able to be jumped on by pets and things like that uh basically gonna wreck everything that a pet will interact with so probably all of the seating would be a bet and probably the beds as well uh, i'm not too sure about oh actually they can get on kitchen counters as well so whatever they interact with it's basically going to break all those cc things so lots of cc creators are going to have to update all of their um content and peacemaker is so good about doing that he always does it so um he's gonna wait till cats and dogs is out before he releases his new stuff and it'll be all fully fixed yay i hope he actually releases his new stuff fixed before he updates his old stuff because I just need the new stuff. Just give me it all, give me it all, give me it all. All of it. The more CC, the better. I'm actually gonna have a clear out of my CC. By the way, this is CC free, just in case you're wondering. No CC in this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a clear out of my CC. I think there's a few items in there that are a little bit too realistic for me. Some people may say too alpha, but I just say too realistic. Um, I don't mind Alpha CC, but it's got to be done well. I kind of like to mix Maxis Match and Alpha together to make just a kind of altered reality, we'll call it. <laughs> that, that, that's how I like it. Just a little bit closer to realistic, not quite 100% cartoony like The Sims 4 is. That's what I like, but I don't like these weird like wood textures or things like that. Oh, do you know what just popped in my head though? Colour me. I need to do a colour me just with the colour fuchsia because um, somebody on Twitter um, showed me their build and was like, yep, apparently I went on a fuchsia rant. I'm, I'm, this is a, this does ring a bell. I'm pretty sure I had a rant about the whole fuchsia and black colour swatch that I insist on putting on everything in the sims and this person listened so thank you i think they're called simprehend that's I'm pretty sure that's it um so i'm pretty sure i need to do a fuchsia color me to see if we can find a way to make this fuchsia and black work in a classy way i'm not too sure if it's going to end up looking classy to be quite honest because i don't know not a miracle worker so it may just end up <gasps> and we can use the oh sorry the um toddler stuff pack rugs just flashed across the screen and i was like oh my god we're gonna be able to get to use those yes <laughs> uh yeah so i'll see if i can make fuchsia classy i'm not too sure i'm gonna be able to do that but Wish me luck. Anyway, so we are in the kind of games room, I'm going to call it. Adult entertainment room, actually, would also be a word because there's that like bubble blower thing. Oh, and then I found uh, grandfather clocks and was like, oh, put it everywhere. So, <laughs> but yeah, the games room then leads out into like the bar area outside, the like terraced area. So that kind of made sense. But in this house, we have got four bedrooms. We've got a home gym. We've got that adult entertainment room. We've got a study. Um, what I cut footage out, but beyond the hall, the hall, the entrance way, if you walk through past the stairs, uh, you also have like a little arts area. So there's an easel there with those aura rack things you know the art racks and loads of canvases so you'll be able to create, create beautiful paintings here and um in this master bedroom i do actually do a bit of a move objects with the bed because you know i have that cc vampire bed made by industry sims so they do the vampire stuff um what is it love seat that's it they use the back of the love seat as the headboard in a bed and created that and i kind of recreated it myself i do test it out you will see eliza popping in just to have a quick nap 
there we go um i do merge it and it's really kind of difficult to find a swatch that works but i think i think whoa that suddenly changed color did i random um but yeah i think it works i'm not mm, i'm not 100 percent on it but in the absence of cc then it will have to do if you if you don't like it you can just delete that sofa but it does actually work um with the bed that's why eliza's there i think i cut out the testing bit that i did but yeah it all works and um if only that headboard was gone do you know what i should have done i should have moved the headboard into the wall and then put the sofa there oh why why do you do it because you know what else looks good? Uh, the really, really high love seat. It has the high kind. What are they called? When they button, cushion, quilted. I don't know. Whatever those things. You know the really high ones that came with City Living. Those look really good as a bed head as well. Lots of people have done that. And I've also seen CC where someone's taken that and created it into a headboard. I think that was Plum Bob Tea Society. I'm sure I saw that literally the other day so yeah i definitely have to do a build with the what was it cottage garden stuff i really wanted that to be out before cats and dogs just to kind of get it out of the way but because you know everyone's gonna be concentrating on cats and dogs when it comes out as i want to as well but maybe i can squeeze it in maybe or maybe i could do it on a live stream instead and then just do an overview on the channel i'm not too sure do you know oh on this one this build as well i of course my new favorite trick is to use the vlad um hold on no i don't think i've done a i haven't done a build with that on here i'm saying like of course you know my new favorite trick is using the vlad painting with the mirrors no 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 this is the first build i've done it in but subsequent builds do have that mirror trick in them as well so just be forewarned it does appear quite often in my next few builds apologies for rep <laughs> repetition but i love this little room i do get eliza to come in here on the fly through and she's sitting there using the what you call it a vanity table confession I have never had one of my Sims in my Sims game ever use that vanity table that came with um, Vintage Glamour. The first time I've ever used it is for Eliza, just for the screen, for the fly through. I've never used it otherwise. So, mm, I really need to start using <laughs> objects that actually come with the game. Maybe I need to do more CC free builds so that I use them or play. I don't think I ever play in CC free builds because, you know, it's just for me. I don't have to worry about doing CC lists or I actually now tend to use my own builds for gameplay. Before in gameplay, I hardly ever moved my Sims. I just kept them in the same house the whole time or I kept them in a tiny house and then they got loads of money and I moved them into a huge house so it was one big move but it takes me so long to build I'd normally build and then it would take me so long to build that I wouldn't enjoy playing in the house anymore <laughs> so <laughs> like the build building their new home with all their new money kind of put me off playing with them but I do get bored playing The Sims when you get loads of money. I'm just like, yeah, where's the challenge? I play The Sims kind of for a challenge. So without the challenge, it kind of bores me. But what I have done recently is I played as my Sim self. Uh, I did it before. I think I used it for my parenthood stream, my review. I used my family. Yeah, they are no more. I I don't play that save anymore. So I made another save of my sim self. I was just like, oh man, there was just too many kids. And I was just like, oh, I can't deal with you kids. 
I'm being single again. So I just created (laughs) created myself again in another save. And I do actually have two kids in that now, but we're doing well. What I did is I decided to turn off aging, which I never normally do in my games. And I think it really has liberated and changed the way that I play the game without the pressures of thinking, oh man, I've only got like 10 days left till they turn into adult and I suppose I better have kids now or you know oh they're they're nearly uh elder I've got to do this or I've got to just concentrate on my work first it just took away the whole pressure of having to fit certain life elements in in time so I played for as long as I wanted as a young adult And then when it was time for me to have kids, I was like, okay, I'm going to have a kid. And I had them as a baby for way longer than three days, like you normally do. And also then I've had them as a toddler, I think, for a really long time. I just thought when I'm ready, I'm going to age them up. And it was so much nicer playing like that. It was just like, oh. It was just a relief. I was just like, oh, it feels so good to be playing like this. So at the moment, I'm about to age myself up, I think, into an adult. At the moment, I'm still a young adult with a toddler and a child. But I think I can't really be a young adult and have a teenager. So I'm ready for my daughter. I think she's my daughter. Do- if I've got a daughter first, see, I'm really bad. Don't, don't don't let me look after your children. I'm <laughs> really bad. Um, I think I've got, yeah, I've got a daughter and a son. Daughter is called Ella. See, I remembered her name. Well done. Well done. And the son is called like Aster, Ash, something to do with Ash. Subsequently, actually, two of my rabbit's names. Obviously, I was feeling really inventive at the time when I named them. <laughs> so bad. Oh, bunny update as well. I have got all of the bunnies into one hutch. I am so happy. I'm just literally like, oh my God, I can have my life back now. Um, In terms of bunny bonding, they have had a dream bonding. There has been no really bad fights I think Ella chased Otis maybe on day two and that was because I put them outside in Ash's run he'd never been in it so it was neutral territory as far as I was concerned but obviously not obviously maybe it was too close to her their hutch or the whole idea of being outside it wasn't as um stressless as being inside so she was just like after Ash. So I took them inside and they were just totally calm. I just, from being outside, she was just like, ah, I'm getting you. And then moving them inside, she was just like calm down. It was a whole love in. Ash is a totally adorable bunny. And he's just like, give me cuddles, woo me. And she just keeps on rejecting him. She's just like, yeah, I'll groom you when you want to. I'll groom you when I want to. Otherwise, move away. (laughs) So she's kind of like that with him. But Otis, it was total bromance and everything. And so when I moved them out, I had to clean out their hutch with vinegar. Get rid of the scent and the whole thing. Moved them all in together. They were doing really well. And then Ella started chasing Ash around the hutch. And I was just like, ugh. When you first move them, you've got to keep them into a smaller space. So they were just up in the hutch. They didn't have access down into the run, which is ginormous, by the way. I feel like it's like bigger than my bedroom. No, it's not really. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, they um, they were kept in that. I kept them in the hutch for maybe about 36 hours. I was going to let them out after the first night. And then, yeah, there was a bit of tussling with Ella again. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to keep them in the hutch for it longer so they stayed in for another day inside and they seemed all right and then I let them into the run and then 
Otis started chasing Ash and I was like, man, give the little boy a break. He just wants to be loved. Leave him alone. Uh, yeah, so Ash was being chased by Otis now and not Ella. And I was just like, oh my God, the whole time Otis has never once shown any aggression or anything towards Ash. And then suddenly put them in the run. I'm going to chase him. He was chasing him like crazy. I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to have to come back and check every half an hour just to make sure he's not dead. Well, I knew he wasn't going to be dead. It wasn't serious, serious aggression. Otherwise, I would have never left them unsupervised. It was just chasing, kind of showing who's boss stuff. But yeah, they're all together and they look so cute. And I did sneak in and check up on them earlier. And they were all snuggled together in the sleeping area. So they obviously don't hate Ash that much. They re they're they going to grow to love him. Because seriously, he's super, super, super cute. Yeah, But this, back to the build, because I'm just blurb. This is meant to be a teenager's bedroom because I feel like every good build needs a teenager's room in it, doesn't it? And I love the colour scheme, actually, the purple. It goes completely against everything else in the rest of the build. But I think it seems kind of teenagery with the cushions. That's the first time I ever got to use those toddler pack cushion things. Uh, but they look so good. But anyway, we are coming to the end of this. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this and subscribe if you haven't done already. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.